Today I'm going to be showing you the exact strategies that I've used to generate web design clients in the food and restaurant industry for my web design business Astrocart and how you can use these exact tactics to generate clients for your web design business in the food and restaurant industry. This is Elliot with Prendy Press and let's get straight into it. So in order to generate web design clients in the food and restaurant industry, I have used Facebook ads. Using Facebook ads, you can go and hack into people who own restaurants and then you can go and offer them your web design services. So here we are in my Facebook ads manager and I'm gonna be showing you a campaign that allowed me to generate 26 leads for my web design business in the food and restaurant industry. So let's just go over to edits over here so I can show you the exact ads that I've been running and then I'll be showing you how you can do this for your own web design business. So if we just go over to the ad set over here, I'll firstly go and show you who I was actually targeting with these ads for my web design business. So if we go and scroll down over here, you can see that the audience is the United Kingdom ages 18 to 65. And then in the detailed targeting under behaviors, we have food and restaurant page admins, which was around 2 million. And then we also have for demographics for the job title, I put in restaurant owner. So you can see the potential reach is only 52,000. So it's quite small, but if you go and do this for another country, if you live in a different country, so maybe Maybe you're in the United States or if you're in India or if you're in China or wherever you are based or you can go and actually do this internationally you don't just have to stick to one country and you could potentially have a much higher potential reach for the people that you could reach with these ads now if we actually go and have a look at the ads themselves if I just go into square image over here we can go and see the first ad so I'm just gonna go and click on view more variations so you can go and have an actual look at the ad in a bit more detail so if you can actually see the image I know it's quite small I'll try and leave the image on the screen as well and all it says is get a custom online ordering app for your takeaway restaurant or coffee shop with a two-month free trial zero percent commission forever and then at the bottom I've just got book a demo and I'm directing them to my website then I've got call for more information so I have put my phone number in there as well and then they can just go and click on contact us and then when they click on contact us it actually brings them over to the Astrocart website so Astrocart is a separate website that I have as part of my Prendy Press web design business that is straight strictly directed towards targeting food and restaurant clients. Now you don't have to necessarily set up a separate website for your web design business to target a specific niche such as the food and restaurant industry, but it does help to have at least a landing page on your website that is dedicated to a specific niche that you're targeting. So for your current web design business, you could go and create a separate landing page that is just targeted towards the food and restaurant industry. So if we just go back to the ad very briefly, I just want to go and show you the actual copy as well. So if we just go and get rid of this, we can see for the copy, tired of paying hefty commissions on food portals for your online orders, get a free custom branded online ordering app for your business with 0% commission forever, no upfront cost or hidden fees, book a demo with us today. Now I was actually offering them a free trial. Now, if you want me to go and make a complete tutorial on how you can offer your web design clients a free trial, I will go and create that video. But basically all I'm doing is I'm going and creating a separate website for these businesses under a subdomain and then they can go and use the website for a few months and if they like it then I set them up on a subscription where they pay 30 pounds per month now nine times out of ten the restaurant owners love the website so much that they end up signing up for the subscription package so the two month free trial gets them into my business and then I get them on a long-term subscription after that now you're probably thinking but Elliot when I have to go and set up a whole website for them for free and I'm not getting anything for it. Well, you can actually just go and use simple templates to go and set up a website for them in about one or two hours. And then they've got that website running and you just hand it over to them. They set up the menus, they go and set up other things from the back end dashboard. So you can actually go and create video tutorials that you just go and send to your clients to show them how they can go and set up the menus and all of those types of things. So you're basically putting the onus on the restaurant owner to go and create the site. You just set them up with a basic template and then they go and do all of the hard work. And because they're on a free trial, they don't actually have to pay anything and you don't have to put too much time. And then once they actually start using the site, they see the value of having a restaurant ordering site and that's how you get them to pay further in the future. Now, like I said, I am just prompting them from the ad to go and book a demo. So once they click contact us, 
I do send them over to the home page of the site. So you might think, why not send them straight over to the contact form? But the reason I send them to the home page is because I want them to go and have a look at some of the features that they can have if they have an online food ordering website. So you can see on the site over here, I've gone and outlined some of the features and I'm constantly directing them to go and book a demo. Now, if they go and click book demo, then all they have to do is just fill out this simple contact form. So you can see over here, it says fill out the form below and we'll be in contact to show you a demo of how the AstroCart food ordering system can work for your business. Once they go and book that demo, then I just go and set them up on a Zoom call and I go and show them a demo website with all the features of a food ordering website. So if we just go back to the home page over here, I'll go and show you exactly what I mean. So if we just go and scroll and we click on try our apps over here, and then it brings them over to this demo restaurant website. So from here, once I get them on the Zoom call, I can show them exactly all of the features that this website offers and how it can go and improve their business and bring them more revenue by allowing people to order food online and also make reservations through their website. Now you can go and set this website up for free once again. So it's not gonna cost you anything and that is why you can go and offer these restaurants a free trial because you can go and set this website up for completely free. You just use a free app called Gloria and then you can go and use some free themes such as the Astra theme. So if I go and click on see menu over here, I can go and demonstrate to my clients how this all works. So you can see that people can go and order different food and click on add to cart and they can also go and make a table reservation. So once I've got a potential client on the Zoom call, when they have been directed over from the Facebook ad, I just go and show them all of this and then I go and try to convince them that this is the type of website that they need. And like I said, I go and set them up with a subdomain site and then they go and create all of the menu themselves. Now, if we just go back to pricing over here under AstroCart, if we just click on pricing, we do have a monthly plan and a yearly plan. So they can pay monthly after their trial or they can pay yearly. Now, one of the leads out of those 26 leads just paid me for the 300 pounds upfront for the whole year. So if we go back to the ads over here and I just go and close this and I close this, we can see over here, if I scroll along, I spent almost $500 and I got 300 pounds back straight away, which is around $420. So almost broke even straight away. But then I got a further eight clients to convert onto the monthly plan. So that's an extra 240 pounds per month from those extra eight clients. And that's with only spending $500. Now I'll just go and show you the other ad as well. So if we go and click on edit, this one didn't convert so well. So I spent around $70 and only got one lead from this ad. So that's why I actually stopped using this ad. So I'll just go and click on view more variations and i'll just go and play a little excerpt so you can see over here paying huge commissions to the big delivery apps why not try astrocart the ultimate online ordering system so you can see i'm just trying to get clients by saying are you tired of paying huge commissions to uber eats or Deliveroo or just eat which we have in the uk and they have a few other ones in the us so that's a really great marketing tool that you can use by saying instead of paying all these commissions to these big delivery apps you can have your own food ordering website so like i said by targeting food and restaurant page admins and also restaurant owners on Facebook, you can use this exact same method to go and find web design clients for your web design business. If you are finding value in the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more episodes in the how to set up a web design business series and make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Now, if you're not really familiar with how to set up Facebook ads, I will leave a link in the description to a full Facebook ads tutorial that you can go through so you can go and set up these ads for yourself. Now, if you do wanna set up a landing page for your web design business, where you are targeting the food and restaurant industry, you can just go over to Astrocart and basically just go and copy my landing page over here. It's built with Elementor, so you should be able to go and do this fairly easily. Now, let me know in the comments if you want me to show you how to go and create these types of call cool videos that you can go and use for your landing pages as well. So now we've had a look at the Facebook ads, who I was targeting and how I converted those leads into paying web design customers. I just want to go and show you how easy it is to go and create these actual Facebook ads using Adobe Illustrator. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and I just want to go and show you how simple it is to go and create that Facebook ad that I use to generate those 25 leads. 
So all you need to do is go and create a canvas 1080 by 1080 pixels. So that makes it a square image for Facebook. Then all you need to do is just go and get some stock images of some food. So I go, go and use Envato Elements. So you can see I've just typed in restaurant dish to go and find some nice stock images. Once you do that, I've just gone and added a white square over the top. I've set the opacity to 70%. So that sort of makes it a little bit see-through. And then all you need to do is just go and add your text. So you can see I've just added a rectangle over here and I've just made it slanted and I've just made it a darkish sort of color. And then I've just added a rectangle to the bottom. And then I've just gone and added my text and the text has just got a stroke outline around it just to make it look a little bit more bold. And you can see this bit part of the text over here where it says two month free trial. I've just made that a little bit bolder than the rest of the text. And in the corner, all I've done is just add a hexagon over here. And then that is where I go and add the AstraCart logo. So if we just go and scroll up a bit, we can go and see this one. You can see in the corner, it's like that AstraCart with the logo. So it's really simple. This probably took me around 20 minutes to go and create this type of Facebook ad. And then you can go and start running your Facebook ad campaigns targeting those restaurant owners. So that is how you can go and get your first web design clients in the food and restaurant industry. If you're not sure what to do, once you get your first client, check out my other video that explains exactly what you need to do and has a free template for your web design proposals. And if you're not sure how to price your web design services, then go and check out my other video where I outline exactly how to do that. This has been Elliot with Prendy Press. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode in how to set up a web design business from scratch. Give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in one of those videos.